Welcome, 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 everyone. This is Bobby, also known as the Serendipity Oracle. How are you doing? You're doing great. So, um, something really amazing that happened just recently to me, which is being reunited with a book that changed my life. This book is called Quantum Touch. The Power to Heal, and this is by Richard Gordon. I'm going to be reading it from this book today. This is the revised edition, and as you can see here, it says, A Significant Breakthrough, Hands-On Healing. That's from the Alternative Medicine Magazine. This edition, and I'm not really sure if the original edition actually has this foreword by Dr. C. Norman Shilley. Uh, medical doctor, PhD, founding president of the American Holistic Medical Association. So let's check this out. The uh, first page here says Quantum Touch, The Power to Heal by Richard Gordon. Illustrations by Eleanor Barrow. And the cover is an Eleanor Barrow and Carrie Totter design. This was published by North Atlantic Books in Berkeley, California. Berkeley, California. All right, so before we move on any further, please do me a favor and hit subscribe. <laughs> really uh, trying and do my best to set those intentions for growing this channel so I can do this more regularly. So uh, this book came to me after many, 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 many years. At this point, it's been um, since 2010, so now it's what, nine years? that I had known of this book and since I first was exposed to this book. And an important kind of part of it, the story is that I didn't really believe what this book was talking about once I got far enough into the book. Because the first part of the book made sense to me. It, it was like, oh, okay, quantum physics. Yeah, I'm, you know, I know what's, what that is. I know what quantum physics is, you know. And, um, and yet there was a part of me that was still kind of like, okay, well, yeah, but that's theory. Is it possible that this actually works? And I think when I got into that arena of it, once I was reading the book, I couldn't move forward with it. I was like, okay, I get the physics part, but wait, you're telling me that people's diseases are going to like go away? You're telling me that like things are going to get better, that it's possible to cure cancer and all kinds of back problems and back issues and um, all kinds of bodily. Th like what? How is that even possible, right? So I couldn't believe it. So I didn't give it a chance. What can you do? What can you do? What can you do? And then I read it again. And um, sorry, I'm going to go into chat really quick. Chat, 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 you guys. I love you. Oh, there you go. All right, so I'm going to read just the first few pages, uh, and then I'm going to have some breakfast. But I, I wanted to share the story because I started with this technique back in 2010. It changed my life. It literally made my life just a whole different a whole different thing. <sighs> One day I'll have to tell you the full story. So anyway, I was able to, at some point in the future, this was when I first read it was 2007. Yeah, it was 2007. I didn't read it again for three more years. Um, in 2007, I read it and I was like okay this is kind of crazy I'm gonna put it down and then three years later I had uh, left my job and I was retired <laughs> and I was like I'm bored I've seen so many movies and I've hung out at the at the you know um, in the pool like so long I need a change I need to like read a book I need to read an ebook and so I had this as an ebook and um, I read it again. That's how I read it the first time as an ebook. And I read it again as an ebook, the same ebook on the same laptop. And it was 
a whole different story. Like I was able to get past that. I think it was page 31 or something where I couldn't get past before. I was like, oh, page 31, you're telling me to look at my finger, right? And to feel the energy, the energy of my finger, like a electromagnetic field of, of my finger. And I couldn't feel anything. And I was like, okay, so you're just telling me I'm just supposed to feel this? Like, I don't get it. Like, I feel like there should be more. Like, it seems like not real, you know? And um, and it was because I couldn't do it. And I was like, well, if, if I can't do it, then it must not be real. Sorry, guys, I think I poked my eye by accident. Oh, man. I think I've got an eyelash in there. All right. Well, anyway, so three years later, I read it again, and it makes sense to me, and I can actually feel the energy of um, of the, my finger. I'm able to feel the um, energetic body, right? I'm able to send something, and I was like, I need to continue reading this book. So I continued reading this book and ended up being the best thing that I ever did in my life because I continued reading through it and reading through it. This was all in one sitting. And I got to pretty much the end of the book. I think I, I didn't get into like healing animals and stuff like that, which is part of it. Um, sorry, I wish I had some eye drops around here um, to help me clear up this eye. Let's do some quantum touch on it. That's what we'll do. Okay, maybe that's why that's happening, so we can give it a little bit. So anyway, so I got to some part where I was like, well, working with animals, okay, I don't think I can do this right now. Distant healing, like what are you, I don't know. I don't know if I want to get into that just quite yet. Like, is that even possible? But what I read up until um, page 160, 163, what I read up to 163 was amazing. I was feeling it all. I was sensing it. I was, I was doing it the way I was supposed to be doing it. And um, it was awesome. It was really great. <laughs> so once that happened, I knew I needed to share this with a lot more people. I needed to share this with you guys. And uh, I shared it with my family at the time. I shared it with some friends. Yeah, there was a mixed reaction to it. And most of the reaction that I got from this book and me believing in this and like, you know, talking to people about it was kind of negative. You know, it was like they were pushing me away. And I did not kind of understand. I did understand because I knew how it was to be skeptical. But at the same time, I was like, but I'm your friend. Like, don't push me away, you know? I'm your friend. Like, don't do this to me. And, um, yeah, that was kind of challenging. So, anyway, let's let's read this because this book came to me as, as a gift from the CEO of the Quantum Touch, um, from Quantum Touch Corporate. So, let's read the first page here. Okay, so there's a lot of in praise of Quantum Touch. Uh, for professionals and lay people alike, Quantum Touch is an essential and valuable tool. Alternative Medicine Magazine, 2001. Dr. Leonard Lasko, MD, says Quantum Touch is easy to learn, has a significant impact on the body's energy system, and can make profound shifts in people's lives. Roberta Hirojo says, every time, oh, she's a, a FMP physician assistant, and they are, Every time I apply a quantum touch, I am in awe of the results. It's amazing how quickly the pain in my patients is resolved in just a few minutes. Okay, let's see here. And then Dr. Jerry Pittman, MD, says, In energy healing, the healer functions as a focusing lens for bioenergy, drawing such energy in and focusing that energy into the energy field of the person seeking healing. It's important for that lens to be as clear as possible. In its simplicity, quantum touch slips past the healer's ego. This has the effect of increasing the clarity of the healer as a focusing lens. This effect makes quantum touch a useful adjunct to other energy healing techniques as well as an excellent healing te technique all by itself. 
In its elegance, Quantum Touch provides healing bioenergy for the healer as well as for the person seeking healing. Quantum Touch well be could well be the current state of the art technique in energy healing. And the next comment is David Kamnitzer, Kamnitzer, DC. Quantum touch is an easily learnable skill that can provide balanced healing, comfort, and postural realignment. I salute Richard Gordon's unique gift for making difficult concepts readily possible, readily accessible, excuse me, and for his commitment to bringing this work to the world. And the last comment here, or um, in praise of Quantum Touch, says here is John Noretto. As an attorney, my training has led to a natural skepticism regarding so-called self-professed healers. After learning to do Quantum Touch, however, I discovered a technique for directing healing energy that not only works, but which can be learned by anyone. I have been able to relieve my brother's chronic back pain. My girlfriend's heart palpitations and allergies have also responded well to this energy work. I highly recommend this to anyone. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, and then there's a few more pages. There's uh, another page, two pages. And then Richard Gordon dedicating his book. I dedicate this book to the universal awareness that healing is not only real, but the easiest of skills to learn. With the awareness that the life force is undeniable and tangible, I offer this book in support of the creation and establishment of a new branch of science based on the study of life force energy. It's called Life Force Science. Oh, I believe that someday life force science will bring the dimension of consciousness to our understanding of physics, chemistry, biology, medicine, and psychology. I gratefully dedicate this book to our shared future. And that's Richard Gordon. Very cool. Okay, and then we've got a copyright here, the um, Quantum Touch, the Power to Heal. This is uh, copyright 2002 by Richard Gordon. Very cool. Oh my God, I love this stuff. Okay, it's distributed by the Society for the Study of Native Arts and Sciences, a nonprofit educational corporation whose goals are to develop an educational and cross cultural perspective linking various scientific, social, and artistic fields to nurture a holistic view of arts, sciences, humanities, and healing, and to publish and distribute literature on the relationship of mind, body, and nature. That's pretty cool. And there's also a disclaimer here. It says, this book is not intended to be a substitute for the services of healthcare professionals. Neither the book, sorry, neither the author nor publisher is responsible for any consequences incurred by those employing the remedies or treatments reported herein. Any application of the material set forth in the following pages is set at the reader's discretion and his or her sole responsibility. So basically, you can't, I can't blame this book for changing my life and then for like all of these different relationships kind of falling away. I would love to, right? I mean, I could say like, darn, if I hadn't, if I hadn't discovered this beautiful technique for feeling better and for helping others feel better in very dramatic ways, um, you know, I think it was... It was, it, it's turned out pretty good. You know, I think the way that some people reacted and then the way that I reacted to them was just something that was always there. And it kind of got amplified when I started to say, hey, I can heal people with my hands and with my intention, and so can you. And they're like, oh, okay, you know what? I've been wanting to tell you, but I think that this and this and this, and you got some crazy ideas, and like this is crazy too. You just need to like go back to be normal and regular and do your duty as a citizen and as a, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And that was kind of crushing. It was for me, you know, it was difficult. And unfortunately, I think it was because I didn't have necessarily a spiritual community that I was a part of. And so when all of a sudden I was thrown into this because I was, I didn't believe in this necessarily the first time I read it. The second time I read it, I believed in it, didn't know if it was going to work. It ended up working and I was surprised how well it worked, 
how awesome it is. And so, you know, I think this is such a cool thing. The contents are here. It says getting ready. It says discovery, resonance, life force, and the principles of quantum touch. Techniques too, basic techniques, frequently asked questions, intermediate techniques, advanced techniques. Okay, applications three, uh, altering posture with energy, working on back and neck problems, working throughout the body, self-healing, healing animals, distant healing, and then other essentials, which is, I guess, chapter or section four, is emotional healing and fun stuff. Uh, there's also the vision, which is part five, the future of energy healing. Whoa. Okay, so let's uh, continue here with the forward. I think we're going to get through the forward. And that, that might be it before I need to start getting out of here. You know, I've got other stuff to do, but I want to continue reading this book. And let me know if you're interested in the comments. Do you like this book? Have you read it? Are you excited for me to continue reading from it? Do you like this format? Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> the forward here is by Dr. C. Norman Sheely, MD, PhD. He is the founder of Sheely Institute for Comprehensive Healthcare, the founding president of American Holistic Medical Association, research and clinical professor of psychology, and is in the Forest Institute of Professional Psychology. So this is uh, Dr. Norman Sheely. Two, dec two decades ago, Dolores Krieger introduced the concept of therapeutic touch, which has been mostly used by nurses. Just as there are many roads to Rome, there are certainly many techniques for healing. To me, all of these are a part of a universal concept that I call sacred healing. I have personally met and have been trained by Richard Gordon in this healing modality, quantum touch. Many of my staff also were trained and we are able to demonstrate that quantum touch, even without touching the patient, is capable of changing the electroencephalogram I don't know what that is. Symptomatic relief was obtained in a number of our chronic pain patients. Rapid relief of pain and resolution of healing after surgical removal of wisdom teeth was noted in one young lady. Sally Hammond, in her book, We Are All Healers, over 25 years ago, emphasized the potential healing ability of every human being. Quantum touch appears to be the first technique that may truly allow us all to become healers. Yikes. That's awesome. That's Dr. Norman Sheely, MD, PhD. That's a, that's a lot of hype. And you know what? I have been researching this kind of stuff, energy work, body work now for a while. Let's call it nine years. And uh, I think this is one of the more most like casual and fun of all of these. And I feel like the part, like, the reason why it's so effective is because it's so loose. It's There's so much freedom. There's no worry about being uh, attacked or hurt during the process of healing um, by, you know, entities or by the client. It's just everything is very harmonious. And I know that there's sometimes some things that may seem as um, maybe seen as adverse effects. Like if you start like, you know, there's a lot of movement sometimes you know, and uh, spasming of the body and, you know, um, emotional release that people start, you know, you start crying without necessarily having any reason as to why you're crying. Uh, and some people may see that as like, oh, okay, well, that's weird. Uh, you know, um, what's going on there? <laughs> uh, but with um, quantum touch, it's this idea of like keeping it very cool and casual and like relaxed. Obviously there's a professionalism that you bring into helping people heal. But what I mean is not part of it too serious. That's uh, the healing, uh, the, the healing process. Hey, rising storm tarot. What's up? Have you tried to heal with your own energy? Yeah, definitely. Um, and then, you know, part of like quantum touch, for example, and other types of modalities is that you're pulling in, if you will, or accessing, right? You're, you're, um, you're calling in this life force energy that hasn't been tainted, right? Like it's pure energy and you bring it in through your feet and, you know, and, uh, through quantum touch, what you do is you believe 
right? You, you imagine uh, this energy coming up from the planet. You can also imagine it like Reiki coming kind of from the above, right? From the rest of the cosmos, if you will, and coming in. But with quantum touch, the technique is uh, visualizing the energy rising up your feet first and then going through your body like a, like a lightning rod, right? Where the energy just comes in and then, whoa, you know, you're just channeling this energy. Um, and it's the same thing with Tai Chi and with Qigong where, you know, but with these, with these, uh, with like Qigong, for example, and Tai Chi, you bring in energy kind of from your, from your surroundings, you know, from nature. Is there a meditation with this also? Um, no. Um, what there is, there's visualization and, um, here, let me show you kind of what it, the, the, um, what it looks like. Okay, so there's like different levels of quantum touch where quantum touch has kind of evolved, where you have um, like a very basic technique that anybody can do. And then there's other techniques that you need to be kind of familiar with the sensation of energy, for example, that you won't get freaked out. You know, so it's like, Quantum touch, this basic technique is a way to bridge the gap, right? Where you're going from the physical to the metaphysical, where you're going, oh, not only do I feel my body like my body, but I also feel this electricity either running through it or running above it, right? Running above the skin. And once they once you kind of feel that, you go, oh, well, maybe the chakras are real and maybe energy is real. So I feel like it's a very cool bridge for people who have never done anything like it. Because what you do basically is you have to do a physical exercise. <laughs> and so this physical exercise involves visualization, but it mostly involves your breath, right? And it involves the movement of your breath and the visualization put together. So what it is, is you imagine the energy coming up from the ground, from the planet, right? And it rises up, this life force energy, right? Pure life force energy. And it rises up your body to the top of the crown and then goes down the shoulders to the arms and to, you know, through the, the hands and the fingers. Um, so that is what you start doing. You start to imagine that. And as you imagine it, and as you do the breath, it actually you, you begin to, to associate a feeling of rising. So you start feeling like tingles and goosebumps, you know, and you start kind of like with every breath that you do it and you're more relaxed, you're feeling a sensation rising like goosebumps, just electricity going up your spine, like a Kundalini event or, you know, rising just to the crown and on the exhale, sorry, and on the exhale, the energy flows down you know, the side of your face or, you know, the, this half on this half, sorry, this side on this side, it cascades down like a waterfall and then over here on this side and it goes, you know, through your shoulders here and again, like channels through the nadis and out your fingers or out your palms into the area. That's the basic. So I'm going to show you. Uh, in the in the basics, you use your hands a lot to help you kind of like, you know, like visualize the energy and also kind of like pay more attention to it. But you don't have to do these movements of like raking, like, like I'm, you know, I'm pointing at my feet and I'm kind of like raking upwards as I imagine in my head that the energy rises. So every time I'm imagining that, there's life force energy, like an influx of life force energy. Rising Storm Tarot, what do you do in terms of healing? Um, do you practice like a technique that has a name or do you do something kind of intuitive? Uh, I think quantum touch up and opened up for me the ability to do, to kind of like improvise. Right. And I think that was something that the more advanced techniques, if you will, begin to really allow me to be like, Oh, I don't have to do this breathing. I don't have to do the movement with my hands. I don't have to place my hands. I can do this more like in my imagination, right? In my third eye and in that, in that space, in that healing space. So I could close my eyes if I want, you know, I could stare at a person's, 
you know, shoulder and do the thing with the Reiki, you know, and do all that stuff. And that's cool. But what I like about it is it kind of helped me to evolve and be like, oh, okay, okay. I don't have to do the breathing as much. I don't really do much. I like breathing though. It helps a lot for me. Yeah. The breathing is awesome. I, <laughs> I suffer from lack of breath uh, because of stuff that's been happening in my life. But this book has come to me and it's like, I literally have several copies that came to me as a gift from the CEO. So um, this is a sign of the universe after struggling for nine years with life, you know, where I really wanted to focus on this. Um, you know, I was feeling like it's coming. I'm feeling like I can do quantum touch again because so many blockages and so much, so much tension and issues and um, all kinds of different things that came up. I have, 200 of these books for my local community. And so this is one of the reasons why I'm reading it on YouTube here, because I want to share it and it's time. Like I'm tired of being afraid of showing people something that really works and it's so easy and it works even for food where you, it's like a blessing, right? It's like you're blessing your food. And if there was anything that was kind of unlikable about it, that it was maybe bland or maybe the flavor was too something that it shifts, right? It shifts into something different or I shift into something different or it actually tastes better. Like it's more enjoyable. It's really cool, you know, and um, you go beyond placebo effect when other people also begin to experience what you are experiencing when you're witnessing uh, you do tarot cards, uh, Rising Storm, awesome. So, yeah, I've seen some of your stuff. Very cool. Uh, I've been a little bit off of YouTube, um, um, just kind of doing my own work and inner work, you know, and healing. And uh, it's like time, you know what I mean? It's spring and like a lot of things kind of aligning in my life. Uh, it's time to put this out here. So this is a revised edition. There is a 2.0 to this, to Quantum Touch. I believe it's called Quantum Touch, uh, the new human or human 2.0 or something like that. Anyway, um, this one is really cool. So let me show you what it is, okay? You don't have to do much like ritual or anything. You obviously want to be mindful of your body and you want to be present and you want to be you don't want to be distracted um, you take that breath in and the breath out and what you start imagining is on the breath in the energy from your feet going up your leg and then on the end reaching all the way up here and it might take a little while right because you might feel the sensation of energy rising up to your knees on one inhale and then you go oh okay i'm kind of feeling the tingling and then you continue to do it and as you kind of progress through this exercise of like conditioning your breath and your energy then you don't have to like do the exercise so much Right, you don't have to do all this because it's like, okay, so now I just do the breath. And I've got goosebumps and I've got all kinds of tingling going on. And yes, the body is definitely receiving more oxygen. You know, when you're doing this um, kind of breath work, but it's not a bad thing. If you're starting to feel a little bit kind of like dizzy or anything, you can sit down. And it's such an easy technique that you can be a bit disabled, right? Or unable to get out of bed and you can still do this. You know, you can still work on yourself even if you are in some kind of difficult situation. Um, obviously, if you're having lung problems, that is a huge issue. Also, a lot of stress, like hypertension. I find it's very difficult to do quantum touch when you're hypertense. So, <laughs> Uh, but you know, again, this uh, book has come as a blessing to me and uh, to you guys as well. So let's start with chapter one. I think I'm going to just read this 
beginning of it and then I'll come back maybe later tonight or I want to do this for the next several days. I'm going to read the whole book basically on YouTube. So um, because it's came to me for free before it came to me for free now. And I believe that part of my mission is to offer this for free to people. You know what I mean? Like we got, we have to free these healing techniques we have to free them uh, from being behind these walls um, of fear, mostly, right? So here it says, Chapter 1, Discovery, Getting Ready. It says, Healing is real. Everyone can do it. Everyone's love has impact and value. Your love has impact and value. The ability to work as a healer is simply a gift. It is a gift within that we need only discover. This ability is ours at birth. It comes as a standard equipment on all of us humans, hardwired into the system. I love that. <laughs> okay, so um, this one's called Cafe Sessions, and Richard Gordon talks about um, you know, these kinds of sessions that he had with people very quick. Uh, and it says here, um, my mother is in great deal of pain. Can she can she please sit down here? Asked a woman who appeared to be in her 60s. My friend and I, who were looking at a picture book of bats, immediately got off the bench in the bookshop and invited the women to take our seats. The very old woman was bent over and breathing very hard as she painfully and very slowly sat down. I asked the daughter what her mom's problem was, concerned that she might need help. She told me that her mother was having extreme back pain. For about 30 seconds, I debated within myself as to whether or not I should become involved in this matter, but the healer got the best of me. I explained to the daughter that in my profession, I use a form of hands-on healing where I very lightly touched the area that is in pain and asked if her mother would like me to do that. She spoke to her mother in French, and the older woman said that it would be fine. In my typical manner, I make wherever I am my office. I have often been seen giving healing sessions at concerts, lectures, movies, golf courses, seminars, supermarkets, or whatever, wherever I happen to be. I call these cafe sessions. I asked the mother to point to the spot where her pain was. The daughter translated, and a moment later, I was kneeling down with my hand, with my hands on her mom's painful lower back. She was breathing very hard and her face was contorted by the pain as I began to run energy through my hands. Within a few minutes, the older woman's face looked peaceful. She turned to me and simply said, thank you, I'm all better now. The two women got up and smiled and walked out of the bookstore without another word. I immediately sat back on the bench and picked up the book, ready to resume where we had left off. And to my surprise, my friend was visibly quite shaken by this experience. Although she and I had maintained a casual friendship for a number of years, she had somehow escaped my relentless encounter with people's skepticism. How can you just pick up the book after an experience like that, she demanded. I explained that healings are an everyday sort of experience. Although these experiences have been shocking to me when I first began to do quantum touch, over the years, I have grown accustomed to them, and I even have learned to expect them. Whoa. Whoa, man. All right, discovery. All right, well, I'm going to continue this book um, probably tomorrow, and what I'll try to do is read it continuously for about an hour and interject every so often, especially if you have any questions about anything in the book. Um so yeah, I'm really excited because I know that part of my intention is to introduce introduce sorry, introduce this to people who haven't ever heard or tried anything like this. So I've already kind of hyped it up as that type of book that will help someone who's a skeptic basically not be a skeptic anymore. It's really cool. It's really great. I recommend it if you want to get it. Um, this version is no longer being sold or in print. Um, so it's kind of a rare edition here. Um, the new one is on Amazon. 
and also other quantum touch books that I recommend highly, all of them are also on their website. I think I'm gonna put on the description there, I'll put their website, but you can also buy all of their materials through there. Anyway, my name is Bobby. I love you guys, Rising Storm Tarot. Thank you so much. I'll put a shout out there. Rising Storm Tarot, please uh, check out her channel. Uh, she's pretty amazing. All right, guys, uh, until next time, it's been Bobby, and may you have an amazing, an amazing day. <laughs> All right, many blessings, and again, another blessing and shout out to Richard Gordon. Thank you so much, man. You changed my life. Awesome.